What's happening folks and welcome to a brand new series on the channel called obviously rebuilding Barcelona or fixing Barcelona depending on what I decided to end up going with. So this is a save that's going to replace the Watford series and I've not deleted the save. I've still got the content for it. I've still got the save. I've just not been enjoying the save. Um, I'm going to keep it. I may bring it back at some point down the line. But I, after two weeks of not being, of not playing it just to the computer and being away, I lost kind of the feeling for it. Um, so I want to do a save that I've wanted to do for a while. You've never done a Barcelona save on YouTube before. I did it on Twitch. I went kind of wrong. Uh, but um, we'll try again on here. So the idea is to win the Champions League Barcelona and rebuild them. Um sort of after the financial mess they're in and also the messy transfer as well so we'll keep going we're going to win Champions League but I want to win everything with Barcelona so that includes Club World Cup so that is the aim of the series uh, obviously we've got to win Champions League as well that's a big part of it but I'd like to win everything I can with them so at least all the domestic competitions and Champions League ideal Club World Club as well so today's episode guys is going to be just me looking through the finances I've not looked at Barcelona this season at all I've not looked at their finances or their player stats or anything like that or their youth system we're going to look through those then there'll be a day a day gap maybe and then I'm going to let you guys in the comment section give me your thoughts on who we should be signing selling um, letting leave on a free targeting on free chances that kind of thing and then we'll go from there so I've not looked at anything yet this is the first look at it myself so let's see what they have to say for themselves so reputation is four and a half star media prediction is second we've got to a football assistant manager as well uh, they play this formation I'm not sure if I'm going to use that formation yet I may well do uh, I'm not entirely certain I'm using the update database as well just in case you're wondering um, so let's look at their um, club culture. We should all know it off by heart now, but we'll go through it anyway, make sure there's no surprises in here. So play attacking football, position football, play entertaining football, sign high repetition players, develop players using the country system, and play high table pressing football. So you're looking at a 4 2 3 1, 4 3 3 with a high, high and, and, and pressing, which I'd like to do, um, but I don't really have a lot of luck doing that. But we'll try. So this year, the current season expectations are to reach Spanish Cup final, to qualify for Champions League, they don't, don't, they don't care about the Super Cup, Champions League with semi-final minimum and work to, towards becoming the, the most reputable team in Europe. And then, obviously, you know, we'll hopefully do that, man. Well, that's obviously our aim anyway, ourselves anyway. So that's pretty box standard. We can't negotiate any of that anyway, so we shall accept that and move on. And then we'll just confirm this and move straight into here because I've already done I've already done the save the game. So player players in the last contract. That's your contract. So we've got and then Bele, we've got Sergio Roberto, and then you've got a smattering of youngsters down here, which I'm probably not gonna keep them. I'm probably gonna um let them go. I'm probably gonna keep Dembele because I've also I've always I've always wanted to manage him long term. So I'm probably gonna keep him because he is two footed, he can play either side, and I think he's definitely worth keeping. I think he might be leaving him in, in IRL, but this is not a realistic save, is it? We're, we're just going to do the best we can to be win at Barcelona. Sergio Roberto is a player that um, I'm not sure about. Um, I'm really not. Um, it might be someone we sell to get some finances in place. Uh, we'll have to wait and see about that. So I think keeping them better is definitely something I'm going to do. So tactical reduction required. We'll just go with the bog standard. Um, control. Uh, Tiki Taka. Yeah, that's. That ticks a lot of boxes, and I want a four-three-three wide. Okay, we'll go with that then. Um, I'm going to put my uh, information on here as well. Um, I'm going to go with that. Can I do four to three with this? I can go four to three with this. So I can. Those are my those two tactics I like to use. I I have considered using front back before, but I don't know much about it. So stick with what you know uh, and go from there. So I'm not that this is going to work or not, but we'll see. I will play around with it. But that's the basic information I'm, I'm probably going to. Use one of the two, and we'll just have a look at things. And you can always give me your thoughts, guys, in the comment section as well. So um, we already saw this already, so we accept that already because we can't do anything else with that. Uh, piece of presentation, all that kind of stuff is big box standard stuff at this point. Um, and we'll have to just wait and see. The question is, what are the finances like? Because this could be bad. Zero money and transfers. Twenty million pound in the red, three million wage budget. We are not going to be able to sign players, are we? This summer, we may have to sell some players to try and get some money in. Uh, what is the projection for our bank for for, for the um, 
Okay, balance is going to be pretty okay. We're going to get a massive increase. Oh, we've got some new punch deals from coming in. Yeah, 90 million per season comes in. Um, yeah, so we've got good sponsorship deals. There's a problem with problem is that they'll, 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 they'll do sponsorship deals, billion in debt, um, which is not great. Um, but I think we should be okay. I think I've, I've seen simulations before where they basically just kind of sort it out with these big with these sponsorship deals and they fix it. So yeah, but we should be okay. It, it is more of a challenge. We can't sign players in the first season. We've got this. I mean, that someone's going to be targeting players. And looking at um, maybe moving one or two on, we don't think we're going to use and maybe promote some youth talent. Because like we say, this is what they want us to do. They want us to use players in the youth system. So it might be we sell a player in the midfield and bring forward one from that youth system to try and replace them. So we get them off the wage budget. I don't really like them, but we'll move them on. And then we increase their um, exposure in the first team. Speaking of which, so look at this. Look at our youth system, shall we? Because that is something that we definitely need to do. Um, where are we now? I've 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 not played this game for five for five. I've lost actually. The, oh my god! I've, I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. Death center. My brain went mush for five seconds there. So we've got so you know Dest. Why is he in the reserves? I have the team. I have no clue. So we're promoting to the senior squad. Yes. Uh, we've got Elas Akamovic, who's a left winger. Again, he's got good amount of pace. Looks kind of interesting. So I think he could be promoted to, to, to promote to the first team as well. We've got Nico as a defensive midfielder. Again, this is what I was talking about. I think we promote Nico and so so Gio Roberto. We get some money off the wage bill. We get some money in the bank. In the bank, we might just buy one or two players with that bit of money. For how much they give us out of that money we get for him, and we get this guy developing. That could be kind of really really good for us. So I think we're actually moving forward as well to the first team because that makes that makes doesn't make sense to me to do that. And then you're looking at um, Mika. Again, a striker. I'm not really going to put him in the first team yet because I think I've got, I've got options there I want to I keep. And the rest of them pretty much okay. So let's look at the under-19s and see what they've got going on for uh, any kind of potential players. So you've got Danny Rodriguez, who's a left... I think he's 15 years old. Keep him there for now. And then you've got um, Alex Valle, who's a... They're saying a, a full-back... Again, probably could go out on loan, maybe get some first team football. So we've got some good players um, in here. Looking at um, no, no, okay. Again, now you're getting to points. Now it's getting a bit not as not great. So yeah, we've got some good players from the um, main kind of B team to get in the first team. And then if we give them something out of anyone I missed out, guy, I think would be cool to bring in. We'll go from there. So look at the squad here. And we're just going to go position-wise and get rid of anybody who's actually not here because I just don't want to confuse the situation with these guys um, because this is going to make it awkward to have them there. So let's get them out of the first team squad there. So as you can see here, we've, we've got Adama Troy on loan. I'm probably not going to keep this guy because he's going to probably push the hell out of me. I can't terminate his contract, so I'll keep him around for now. Um, we've got Braithwaite. Who I think I'm going to sell. I'm going to get that money. He's going to be sold for certain. Because I've got Aubameyang, um, Depay, and Luke De Jong. I don't need another striker right now. Um, I've got Ferran Torres as well, which is interesting. Um, which would be fascinating to, to use. Um, so we've got a good option attacking wise. They've done some good business, I think, Barcelona. So I'm thinking we get rid of uh, Sergio Roberto. Busquets, I want to keep around because um, he's a legend at the club. Uh, but And I don't think I'll get much for him. Uh, but Sergio Roberto, I think just get rid of Sergio Roberto, I think, and then promote the youth talent from there. So I think in the summer, we're going to be looking at maybe, um, I think Long Longley, I think we'll try and renew his, he's off 26, 26, that's fine. I think Dembele is going to be a priority to, re, to, to re-sign. Uh, and then we're going to sell Braithwaite and probably sell um, Sergio Roberto. And then if anybody else should be sold, you can let me know in the comment section and I will obviously go from there. Um, but I think obviously Fat is going to be a great player to use. I'm going to play him on the left wing, I think, because um, I've got strikers who can play there. Um, Aubameyang is probably going to be my, my, my main striker um, because that's where I think I want to play him. Um, and I've and look at and then manager Bamming actually on foot manager. I don't think I have. So that's another interesting factor to see what happens there. So yeah, interesting 
youth players there. I'm not going to go on too long, guys, because it's the introduction episode. So you can give me your thoughts, guys, on players to target. Any player, any player you can suggest, I'll look at them and have a look at it. We're not going to be signing many players in the first window because of the financial situation, but we can at least narrow down our target list of players on free transfers and try and get players in. I'm going to look at the players expiring and target maybe some and scout a few and get an idea what's going on with that. And we'll go from there. And any, tactic, any tactical advice, guys, about this formation, change that role, change that role, change that formation, do this, do that, you know, all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments section. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll, we'll keep with the current theme of this year, of my series. We'll do the opening league game of the season, which is against Real Sociedad at, 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 the new, at the new camp, or the camp new, and then we'll go with the usual. Well, I think, obviously, we'll probably do one, two, three, four, five off camera after that, and we Espanyol and Real Madrid, because of the... That's basically what we'll do after the next episode. So there will be daily uploads, guys, on these on, on, on this series. I'll try at least my best. I did say, obviously, in the, another episode, in other videos, I am having my work done on my on my room. It is accelerating quicker than I thought it would, so there will be disruption to this. Um, it, mainly, it's going to be the painting is going to be the biggest disruption to this. Uh, I don't know how it's going to take these guys to do it. Um, when we get it booked and everything, oh God, and we're ready. So there'll be two days at least where I won't be able to call anything um, at all, unless they let me do it. Um, I don't think and then we'll probably get into the room and wait to finish painting it. So um, yeah, not going to be anytime soon, though, next week or two, but it could be very quickly if things fall a certain way. Like when my new desk comes, I get the new, I get my wiring sorted out with my uncle doing it for me because he did, he did it originally. And once it's painted, new desk, all that stuff will be good to go. So. Um, if you have enjoyed the episode, oh, you've missed me. There we go. <laughs> if you have enjoyed the episode, hit the like button down below. Subscribe for daily content on the channel, FM, all the way, every day on this channel. Down below the second channel, my FIFA channel, which has got daily uploads from, from Career Mode and Ultimate Team. Up the team, up the team's more updates. Also, guys, my Let's Talk United podcast. You saw it just then. Um, if you want to get involved in Let's Talk United podcast, if you're a Man United fan, go check it out. It's very fun. We have a lot. We will say very fun. Not a moment, it isn't. Um, but yeah, go check it out, guys, and I'll catch you all in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.